What's up guys, Gundam NYC here again with another Gunpla review. This time we have the high grade Universal Century RGM 96 Jesta Cannon. And this kit right here is a monster, a beast of a kit. I'm a huge fan of this Jesta Cannon and it, it just looks great <laughs> the way that it is. So getting into this right now, is looking at this kit, done a bit of panel lining work to it nothing too crazy oh that's not good that the body already came apart but uh yeah there's so much that you can do with this kit that it's it's really cool uh there are a few issues that i have with it you know as you saw before the the torso of it sometimes isn't the strongest some of the legs the leg kind of uh can't doesn't seem to hold the weight for uh for the kit and it feels a little bit loose sometimes so my suggestion to anybody buying this kit be prepared to kind of tighten up those joints with paints or anything that you can any way that you tighten up your joints for your kits but with that said i still love the kit i love the look of it it's got this very dominating presence whenever you uh you put it next to something so i'm a huge fan of it i'm still going to say this kit is if you like the design this is definitely a kit that you want to pick up so but if you're not a big fan of the design or anything like that I would say you can definitely skip this kit but it's also a pretty fun build so getting into this first we have a bit of the articulation uh, sometimes this is kind of hindered by the uh, the two Gatling guns and the chest piece right here. Makes it hard to get the head of this kit all the way around. So I don't mess with it too much and I don't want it to pop out. And seeing that I've already had issues with the loose joints, I don't want to force anything to move around and you know loosen the joint even more. And that's the same with the arm. So this arm, you can get it all the way around the elbow bend is pretty nice here it's uh it's about 90 degrees you get stuck with all the armor pieces here so it's a little interesting that we can't get it up any further but that's just the way that it's molded uh the shoulder i just have a quick thing to say about it if you guys aren't uh seam line removing you're gonna have a nasty 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 uh seam line for this arm right here there's a huge line that goes over the top of it. So I would suggest if you don't seam line, learn how to do it, or you're just not getting the most out of this kit. So the same thing here on top of there. But it was nice to see that we didn't have to paint these shoulder pieces. These are actually separate pieces. So if you go and check out the unboxing review that I did of this, you'll see that these came on a separate runner. But here we go the gun looks amazing on this kit it's just there's so much more that you can detail onto this kit you can paint some silver into it you can paint some black paint different tones but going on the hip is on uh two joints one to swivel and one to move up and down the up and down one comes out very easy so there's not much motion that you want to do with it so just be careful when doing that you can't really get this 100 or 360 degrees round because there's that piece on the inside right there so there's that tubing and lining piece right there so that's what stops it from going all the way around and then for the legs, legs are pretty nicely articulated. You get them pretty high. I love all the extra armament that's on it. But like I said, the leg joints are pretty weak. So you can shake the leg back down. So you're going to want to tighten up those joints without a doubt. It's just, it's one of those things that will give you trouble when you're trying to pose. The, like this leg right here barely holds itself up. So... Just be mindful of that when you're building this kit. Make sure that you're going to want to tighten up those joints if you're doing anything fun like posing it. But the feet are on a single ball joint on a, another mechanism inside. So we can bring the feet forward pretty far. Back. A little bit of side to side. There's no real motion in with the foot itself. 
like this top part doesn't move like we see with some real grades so it's still a pretty good uh good part for that and that's another thing that i need to mention the hand for this gun always falls out i'm glad that that actually happened on camera because i would have forgotten about that that's one of the really bad parts about this kit is that it always is falling out i'm always putting this back together so if you're okay with this gun being in the hand i would definitely say glue that together i'm definitely going to glue this together because i like this gun in this hand i'm not separating them or anything like that so i'm going to be gluing those and just to note this silver doesn't come come in the kit i painted that silver right there but for the backpack it's pretty cool guns go up and down again you're going to want to do some seam line removal on the gun parts and yeah there's not much that happens here with the guns they're very they're very static it's a nice piece to it but i would have been happier if this swiveled a little bit so you can definitely modify it to swivel figure out how to do that some way but you know it's still a great kit love this kit it's definitely one of those kits where unless you're in love with the design like i was like i really like this design the way that it looks it's not one that you really need to run out and get so i say if you don't like the way that this kit looks definitely pass on it if you like the way the kit looks definitely it's a grab for sure just make sure that when you do grab this kit you are being mindful of that there are a lot of loose and weak joints just because of how heavy the armor is on certain parts of this kit that you're going to need to make sure that you uh tighten up those joints but until next time make sure you follow me on instagram and facebook gundam myc also give this kit or give this video a like comment and hit those notification bells and don't forget to subscribe until next time guys peace